Nicole TV watches and jewelry. Hi everybody, I'm Danny Nichols again from Nichols TV Watches and Jewelry and the Luxonomies and today I'm with Mr. Ulrich, the chairman of Oris, that watch brand that we love so much and he's giving us this special interview. Welcome Mr. Ulrich. Hello Danny, good to see you. Thank you so much, I'm, good. I'm very happy to see you here in Spain too and, to, and that you give us this special interview that we're going to talk a little bit about watches. Yes, it's a pleasure. So I'm gonna give you, or I'm gonna make a very difficult first question to you. Wow. Okay. Which one was your first watch? My first watch I got from my grandmother. It was a watch which you had to move the time by pressing it with your fingernail and to adjust the time, you know. This is amazing. It was my first watch. And this year we brought the similar watch again with the same function where you have to use your fingernail to adjust the, the, the time, you know. Yeah. Is the, the that one? was my first watch. It's a gold watch, by the way, and I still have it. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a yeah. family, it came exactly. from the family, yeah, yeah. For, and nowadays it's still working, no? It is still working, but I, I haven't seen it for some time now. I would have to dig it out from my drawer again. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that you will. And like they, as he said, they presented an amazing new watch of Oris this year, that it has the same type of movement and like like a classic, very, very cool watch, right, isn't it? Right, right, right. I, I mean, if you want to see it, I, I think they will see it, your viewers. It is actually a watch which has this fantastic uh, case back, you yeah. know. It's, it's so unique and the front, as I said here, you see the uh, function to adjust the time. And the front part is also quite amazing because it's a watch which was manufactured in 1917, you know, it's it's amazing piece. It's so cool, <laughs> I love it. And what is your favorite Oris watch? Well, my favorite Oris watch, of course, is always the latest one which we bring out. This is uh, uh, the new series of the Aquis, which we now, the Oris Aquis, which we have launched already in 2002, now in 2017. We launched this new Acre, so I love always the latest one. That's my fortunate situation that I am, that I can take the latest which we have <coughs> developed and this makes it really special for me, of course, to have the opportunity to do so. That's amazing. You know what I say always? Is I love the one I have, the last one, but also the next one. <laughs> that okay? is I'm thinking good. already about the, the next one. So. How is Oris winning the hearts of the watch lovers all around the world? Because like, it's a brand that is growing, it's growing the hearts of the watch lovers and that is making um, them to have, or you to have, a lot of watch ambassadors all over the world. True, yeah. I think the secret is uh, not so difficult. It's maybe a bit difficult to keep on doing what we do because we do the same thing since about uh, 85. We follow, or actually since the foundation, we make real watches for real people. That's the slogan that is very cool. Slogan. Yeah. yeah, so it means we never actually dream to make watches up here in a very expensive area which people, uh, some people can afford, others cannot afford. So it is a strategy which keeps on going on and on. And today with the uh, company's strategy to concentrate on mechanical watches only, and we are one of the few companies only doing mechanical watches. So our watch lovers and our buyers, our consumers, they know this company is going to continue. The prices will not go down. It, it will stay or go a little bit up. So. It, Oris watches are gaining value, that's also a good thing, because if you change value or reduce prices, it's not fair, because we always calculated the prices in a fair way. And this is actually what makes Oris tick and which makes Oris being loved. I totally agree with you, and also I would say that Oris has an amazing quality price value, it gives an amazing quality price value and like I guess that you're going to keep doing that for sure. Absolutely, uh, the sensitive pricing, you know, this, uh, like we say, Real Watches for Real People already says this in some way. And when we calculate uh, watch price, we really see, okay, this is what the costs are, this is how much we need for the for the uh, manufacturing, for the assembly and everything, and of course we need some profit to pay all the activities we do, 
but it's a fair way of doing it. And so we end up in a, in a sensitively priced watch. And this is what people more than ever in these days are really liking. Because some guys, they just lost control in the, in the watch the period when the prices just went to sky high levels. And uh, some people just lost ground. But we are really down to earth and we stayed there. That's so cool. What do you think about the future of Horus? How can you explain that? Where are you going? <laughs> well, as I said, we definitely want to continue what we're doing, but we innovate. We are one of the most innovative companies. Our, my personal target is to register one patent per year. So that is already a challenge. This is a challenge if you have to uh, say, what is our next uh, development? What, where is something which nobody has done before? And we so far really uh, have succeeded in doing so, you know, when we came with the Oris depth gauge or the Oris uh, altimeter, you know, then the uh, Oris rotation, so cool. yeah, they're so cool. very, so <laughs> very much, they're real because you can use them in yeah. your daily life, you know, like you say, they, they are us, you know, and this is the way we will go in the future, we will be very innovative and very uh, much staying down to us nevertheless. You know what, like, I have a friend that he's, he goes, um, he's, he dives, and he says that he always goes with his computer, okay, but he never dives, dives without his horse. Wow, good. Because <laughs> that is going to work forever. The computer, he can run out of battery or things like that, and, but like the, the Oris yeah. is, is going to work. So it's also very cool to see Oris doing uh, so much for the environment, so much for the new generations, and like, being part of this new program, uh, being the guardian of the ocean, how did Oris decided to go for that? Because like it's like very in advance of other brands. Like you're really thinking about the future and our uh, about the young people that like is gonna be more con thinking about the earth, ocean, and everything. Absolutely, and I think this is uh, when I joined Oris in the late 70s, uh, 80s. Then uh, the environmental environmental issue wasn't that great yet, but it grew. And particularly in Switzerland, we have quite the strict uh, environmental rules, while other countries still uh, didn't care so much. So it is our country on itself. But then, when I saw in uh, the beginning 2000. Uh, with the Great Barrier Reef, that was really uh, that triggered me and triggered together with the, the Australian uh, Marine uh, Conservation Society (AMCS), which is a company which was founded in 1965, by the way, it's a long yeah, time uh, ago, and they were aware that they have to take care of marine life, and we cooperated with these people, and this actually triggered the whole development later on because we saw what the Great Barrier Reef was really is still suffering actually unfortunately it's, it's, it's still tough there to really keep it alive the way it is but seeing that it has triggered other developments other watches we have brought being it in the Philippines with Kibata, Maldives and the Red Sea and so on so we did really a whole line of uh, these uh, protection or, or marine life protection activities and of course not to forget El Hierro El Hierro in, here in, in uh, Spain in Spain which was a, a fantastic thing yeah. together with Artenio from the Oceanic uh, Institute which you have here in Spain which is really amazing what you do what about the Carl Rusher okay everybody is talking about that watch is it gonna be a comeback or no <laughs> Well, Carl Brasier is really, this is uh, the fantastic thing, the bronze watch was which good. we have. And we said, okay, let's limit it to uh, 2,000 pieces. We could have sold much more, of course, because it was the time when uh, we were the first one again of bronze watch uh, in a bigger scale. There were some bronze watches, but we were the first one now. Some others are copying it. We are certainly looking at it, but I can't tell you any secrets <laughs> yet, but uh, we are certainly looking at it. One last question. I think I already know the answer, I, I guess. But like traditional watchmaking or connected watchmaking, what do you think? I think both have a justification. You know, I think uh, the uh, traditional watchmaking, where you can uh, hear, you can wind the watch, you can hear it tick, 
you can see you have everything on your wrist to control it. It's nobody else who connects you with and who tells you what to do at the end, how much breathing you're doing. No, it's your life which you have here. That is one, one idea, one philosophy of life which I think we are approaching. If you want to be connected, if you want to have everything under control via electronics, via the clouds, whatever, and then the others know what you're doing, that's another way of approach. So I think both have a, a, a justification of existence. They both can, uh, can live and I think it's, it's fair enough, but we will stick to the real watches. You will stick to real watches for real people. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mr. Yannouris, for this Thank amazing you. interview. And friends, if you have any doubt, please leave your comments here so maybe you can answer the, the questions. If you like this video and this interview, please fingers up and don't forget to, to subscribe to our channel and to follow Oris that is an amazing brand that is doing the things is doing amazing things for the watchmaking industry and for the world and the oceans thank you so much see you next video thank you